you are new, hello and welcome, and I hope you enjoyed today's video as well. And before I get started, let me go ahead and ask you guys to all do me a huge favor. Please hit that like button, click the subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video out there with your friends so that they can enjoy it as well. And also, if you are new, make sure you check out the rest of the playlist for the 12 Days of Christmas because this is day six, so you're a little behind if you're just now stepping in. I mean, it's not like it's like a continuous series, but if you want to stay up to date with what looks I have done so far, I will have a link to the 12 Days of Christmas playlist in the description box down below. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started with today's look, shall we? <laughs> so this look for today is inspired by the classic Christmas song, Silver and Gold. I'm not going to sing it because I cannot sing, but if you do not know the Christmas song, go ahead and just pop over to Google, pop over and just type in Silver and Gold Christmas song lyrics. I'll, I'll give you a few seconds. So yeah, it's just like a very, very classic Christmas song. Um, it's silver and gold. So I decided to take a step back from the looks we've been doing so far because the last three looks I have done for the Christmas series has been very bright, very bold. So I wanted to do a look that was a little bit more subtle while still being beautiful and glam, of course. But I want it to be a look that, so that you subscribers who don't really do the bold big looks can still follow a tutorial and have a Christmas look that you will feel comfortable in wearing and not feel like you're standing out or like being too loud if that makes sense. So this look is for you guys who don't do the bright crazy looks but still love doing the natural, well not natural but the neutral glam shadow looks so yeah i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you at the very end okay so first things first is to prep the eye for that we're going to be using the p louise base and again this is 0 0.5 or yeah 0 0.5 i still like to use my finger in a beauty blender i don't really like to use a brush but i do get all up into the crease into the corner but just make sure you get some into your corner because you're gonna need it. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of tape and this is just to make sure that the edge is right where I want it. All right, so we're going to jump into the James Charles palette and we're gonna start with Spooky, which is the black right here. Now a lot of people are afraid of using black shadow. That's fine, it is very, very tricky. The best tip I can give you when doing looks with black shadow is to go very, 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 very light handed because that way it won't get all bunched up and patchy. So make sure you go in very, very light handed. And I'm taking that Morphe blending brush. Again, these don't have a number on them. These are just from the Gilded Collection. We're gonna pick up a little bit of the black and then starting on your outer corner, gently start blending it in. But remember, very, very light handed and if you go too heavy handed, it's not gonna look good. quite dark enough so we're gonna add a little bit more we want to make sure we get that upper corner so we're gonna blend up on the tape and that's where the tape comes into play because it helps you get that nice wing so now we're going to pick up a blending brush this is from echo tools and it's just a domed blending brush and we're going to pop into no beans which is this really pretty brown and also a little bit of and these we're just going to blend into the black and into our crease so we're going to start the black and start the blend and we'll just work our way down into our inner corner And then also take that same no beans and just blend it into the black 
We're not trying to darken the black up more. We're trying to kind of trying to mute it a little bit. So now we're going to take a very fluffy brush and this is R40 by Morphe. And we're going to take this and kind of buff it out a little bit so it's not as harsh. I have a bad habit of going like this when I'm doing my my makeup and you guys can like see my nose in the mirror and I'm so sorry. I need to start going like this. I'm, I'm still figuring out the logistics for my new setup so I'm sorry. Okay so now I'm going to jump out of the James Charles palette and we're going to jump into the original Jaclyn Hill palette and we are going to take this gold right here which is queen and i'm picking up r42 by more which is just a flat shadow brush and we're going to take queen and it's okay if you pack a lot on there and you get some fallout don't worry so we're just going to pack this onto our lid and make sure it meets right into the crease and into the black I did not put any glitter glue down for this because I don't want it to be a super bold. I want it to be kind of muted. So I am okay if some of the glitter dissipates. All right, so taking that same brush, we are going to jump back in the James Charles palette. We're going to mix together face and flashback to get a nice silver. And you see how that has like a really pretty silver effect to it. You can go ahead and blend that into your inner corner and into the queen shade. Okay, so now we're going to fix that um, crease a little bit. And for that, we're going to pick up T which is that light brown. And we're just gonna blend that into the crease to fix what we did. Okay, so I kinda went in and brought the silver up more to about half my eyelid, just to kinda give it more of a pop. So I'm going to pick up wig, which is this gold right here. And I'm just going to blend that back in so that the gold pops a bit more. Okay, so now I'm going to take off my tape. <laughs> and we're going to take that same blending brush that we use the R40 and just kind of blend that because it went a little bit too high. So we're just gonna blend that out. Because we want this to be soft. We don't want any harsh lines. So we're just gonna blend out that edge right here a little bit so that it gets a little bit softer and the same on this one. So I'm taking that black and I'm gonna do some circular motions right here on the end, just so it's a bit more diffused and not as a harsh line. And then we will clean that up with a makeup wipe afterwards. All right, so let's take a makeup wipe and just kind of clean that up. So I'm going to go ahead and do my face, liner, lashes, and all that. And I'll be right back to do the finishing touches. Okay, so it kind of turned it into like a roll or like a um, silver and gold smoky eye, which I'm not mad about. So what we're gonna do, cause I put my eyeliner on and when I was putting on my mascara, I poked myself in the eye so it got kind of smudged. So we are going to try to buff the underneath my eye out to look a little bit more soft. Cause like right now it looks like really, really like bold and dark. And I don't really want that. I want it just to be soft and gentle. So we're going to take a little soft brush. This is by The Vintage and this is 
just like a basic soft shadow brush. And just to have something to buff into underneath my eye, I'm going to pick up Canvas, which is that nude right here. And we're just going to use that to buff out underneath my eyes so it's not so dark. So that worked to kind of bright up the eyes underneath, but I still want a little bit of a pop. So we're going to jump back into wig, which is that gold. And we're just gonna try to buff some of this underneath the eye very, very gently. <laughs> So I'm not gonna lie, at first I was worried that I was not gonna like how this looks, but I am in love. Like I really, really like how it blends together. The black was a little bit, you know, black shadow can be a little daunting at times, but it, I think it worked. It came out very, very pretty. I'm in love. I'm in love. <laughs> so let me know down below what you guys think of this look. Are you guys enjoying the 12 days of Christmas so far? I mean, this is day six. I'm having fun creating and experimenting with colors I normally don't. So this has been a fun um, experience. We still have six more days. So, and then I'm going to be taking a break. Oh, I'm probably going to take a week or two off in January just to let myself unwind and relax a little bit. I'll probably still be on Instagram and Twitter, but I'm not going to be uploading um, until... Probably not until the 14th or 15th of January. I'm sorry, I need some time to myself, you know? So yeah. <laughs> if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And yeah, so I'm gonna get going and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you, bye.